In 2018, PARD hired a architectural conservator, which is our environmental program coordinator. And she was hired to address a lot of issues with aging infrastructure along with our monuments and working out a plan along with the master plan to be able to manage and reset some of those monuments. The important thing here is um, that the monuments are the private properties of the families. The city has always taken this stand and they're not alone. All cemeteries have this policy simply because with over 80,000 burials, as they've talked about earlier, you cannot be responsible for vandalism, acts of God, or anything else that happens to those monuments. The city would go broke. The city would go broke trying to reset everything. Even though that's part of state law, it's basically an unfunded mandate from the state level. The problem here is that we are utilizing resources from our mowing crews and taking away from those aspects. And as you'll see later on in the, the program, they want to create a whole new division within the cemeteries to address monuments. And the fact of the matter is they're forbidden by their own rules and regulations for doing so. The good side is, is that uh, you have a nonprofit that has been working with the division for 15 years. And they are a fundraising arm, so it's not public money that would do this, that um, many of us have taken classes on how to do this, but unfortunately, the department is treating this more like an enterprise fund, and they've restricted who can do what, uh, creating a lot of unnecessary barriers, and they're using public money to work on private property, and they're not doing it according to current professional standards, and in some cases... They're setting these uh, historic monuments up for failure down the road. I'm going to give you another video uh, that will explain that. 